Ladies and gentlemen, I am so excited because today we are diving into the production style of one of the most iconic hip hop producers ever, and that is Just Blaze. So we're gonna take a look at his signature sound and some of his production techniques that you can include in your own music to inspire some new things and up your production game a little. Let's jump in. So for those of you guys who don't know, Just Blaze is a Grammy winning hip hop producer from New Jersey, and he's produced for artists like Jay-Z, Kanye, The Game, Eminem, and a whole lot more. And uh, he's had a huge impact on hip hop, particularly the sound of the early 2000s hip hop. Even though he's one of the old guard, you know, NPC guys, we're still gonna break down some of those recurring patterns in his beats that you can use in any DAW. First thing I like to do in, in these uh, produce like videos is get a gauge for the tempo of whatever producer that we're looking to emulate. And Just Blaze likes to work in somewhere between 80 and like about 92. So, you know, like 85 to 87 is kind of a nice, uh, happy medium to, to get that sound. Now, as far as the source material goes, most of it's gonna be sample based. So the types of samples that you wanna look for are older soul records that you can speed up, you know, slower soul records that you can speed up and you can get that chipmunk sound similar to how Kanye works. And then once you've narrowed it down to that type of record, what you wanna do is look for certain sections that you can chop and repeat that are either vocally driven or horn section driven, because those are the two things that I noticed that he really likes to do a lot. So today, um, I think we're gonna we're gonna look for some vocal stuff. And the record that we're working with is one called I Wanna Make You Glad by The Main Ingredient. <laughs> So much sample gold, by the way. If you want to, uh, if you're looking for some inf inspiration for sampling, definitely uh, check out their records, especially the ones from uh, you know 1975 to 1980, that range. So here's kind of what we're what we're uh, what we're working with here. And when you walk into the room, it's like a touch of tomorrow. Since we're focusing on that kind of vocally driven category, the vocal driven sampling, I just want to pay special attention to this section here. So we could take those two and kind of chop them up and um, kind of use those as chords or the basis for our chord progression in what we're going to sample here. The other thing that I want to mention too is that when you're in the zone where you're kind of searching through the original song and looking for different samples, what you want to do is um, keep track of a lot of the drum fills that are in the original song because uh, a lot of times what Just Blaze will do is he'll, he'll have like these crazy fills going on because he treats his drums almost like a live drum kit instead of like a normal hip hop kit. And I'll explain a little bit more about that as we get through the rest of this beat. But you can hear at the beginning here, there's, there's a little tom fill. So I'm just I'm just gonna kind of flag this and separate it out and we'll mark that differently so we can keep track of it and use it later, maybe at the end of the phrasing to kind of help bridge the uh, transition between two different sections. So again, you know, we've got this slower sample here and we're just looking to speed it up to uh, our BPM range of Just Blaze, which is, I picked, I think 87 BPM for this beat. So let's go ahead and do that using a uh, repitch mode here and we're just gonna speed up the tempo. Up tomorrow. Another detail here at play that will help sort of guide you in the right direction is that uh, Just Blaze likes to use, I think, longer chops than somebody like DJ Premier. Because DJ Premier, you'll have like these tiny little segments from different records and he'll he'll put together like this really interesting collage. But I found that with Just Blaze, he'll, he likes to use longer chops. So that's why I chopped it up this way to keep, you know, those longer uh, segments of the track going. So it sounds like this. <laughs> And you can really let those chops play out for a while. So play around with that while you're uh, while you're chopping stuff up. Also, what's pretty fun to do when you're chopping stuff up is to to look for the sections that you chop up for them to repeat in the song because a lot of times they'll add new elements or they'll you know change keys or do something interesting. And I found this section that is uh, is the same as the one that I chopped up earlier. It kind of sounds like this. So instead of the background sort of choir singing it like this, it's more like this. Because that way we can chop up the same exact thing, but it'll be a different vowel. So when we put them together, it'll sound like this.
Now, how do we uh, make our drums sound like Just Blaze? Well, you're in luck. We're both in luck because I came across this drum kit that Just Blaze himself released. I think it was part of some sort of promotional package for Run the Jewels. And they did, they did some sort of collaboration together and you can pick it up at daylightcurfew.com um, and it's totally free. And he said that it's a lot of the sounds that he used to use before he kind of layered them and, you know, used various EQ and compression and mixing techniques. So go ahead and, and cop that kit and start playing around with that because that's immediately going to get us a lot closer to uh, the Just Blaze sound. And it's honestly just a really cool kit too. So, so go check that out. So I put a little basic drum pattern onto our chops here, just using the drum sounds from that kit. Just a couple of details on his drum work. Start with just a normal kind of hip hop beat. You know, we've, we've got it matched to our chops right now, but he's actually pretty sparing, I've noticed, with his hi-hats. Either they'll be really quiet in the mix or like he won't even introduce them until much later on. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep my hi-hat muted here, even though it'll sound like this. <laughs> The other thing that he'll do too is he'll have the open hats hit at the same time as the snare, like on every snare hit. So if we took like this open hat sound, right? He would do something like this. It makes that snare hit a little bit harder, I think, and doesn't make you miss the like normal closed hats as much because you're getting that like hat essence on the snare already. Just kind of a cool thing to, to play around with. As far as drum production goes in general though, what he does is he'll take his program drums and he'll almost make them feel like they're, like it's a live drum kit. Like he'll do these like really cool live drum fills towards the end, either from like part of the sample that he cut and, and put in at the end, or he'll just literally program it out in a really cool way. The other thing that he'll do to make it sound kind of like a live kit is that he'll he'll have these crashes on like the same beats that the kick and the chop and the bass hit at the same time. So it's kind of like the drummer, you know, hitting the crashes or whatever. So we'll add those in too. And let's also just program a little uh, drum fill towards the end of our loop here. So, you know, it might sound something like this. You see that? So just a, just a little variation. Sort of sounds like a live drummer. And then once you add the crashes in. And for the bass sounds, what you wanna do is use that like deep hip hop bass that I, I use this a lot actually. Um, I love the way this bass sounds. I have like a little patch that I made in Operator. And if you haven't seen our video called essential hip hop bass. This is where I, I recreate this little uh, patch that I use a lot. So check out that video if you're interested. But it, it's just a really deep bass sound and it sounds like this. You want to follow the kick pattern or at least have it be influenced by the kick pattern so you get those hits at the same time. But also don't be afraid to add in more of the bass melody outside of where the kicks are. You don't have to follow it exactly. So we took uh, this song and we, and we just added a bass line that's kind of following the chord progression here and then, you know, a few other hits here and there might sound like this. The only other thing that I really want to add musically is um, we could either take this part and repeat it and kind of filter it out, you know, uh, without the drums and make that a B section, or we could find another section of the song and I like to kind of drag back uh, from the first chop and just kind of search for something that will work as an intro maybe or like a bridge part. So let's, let's see if we can find something.
So yeah, Just Blaze is a, he's a legend and he, he's really versatile too. So it's always gonna be tough to like encapsulate all aspects of his production style in one single video. But I think this is gonna get you off to a really good start using those longer chops and using the live drum fills and the crashes and everything that we talked about and using the drum kit that he himself released that's free. So don't forget to go and uh, to cop that. It's gonna get you really close and there's a lot to learn from what he does uh, production wise. So I hope this was helpful for you guys and let me know if you have any thoughts or questions or comments about Just Blaze down below. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Peace.